Are we close to making contact with aliens? Three recent discoveries in outer space suggest that we may be close to officially making contact with an alien civilization. The TRAPPIST-1 planetary system has been making headlines recently. At least seven planets orbit what is called an ultra-cool dwarf star in the Aquarius constellation. By studying the dimming light from the star as planets pass in front of it, astronomers predict that these planets are rocky and are about the right size to support life. At least three of these planets are at the correct distance from the star to have an atmosphere similar to Earth's. It is thought that by studying the way light reflects from the planet's atmosphere, we'll be able to tell if there's actually life on that planet. The TRAPPIST-1 system is only 39 light years from Earth, which is quite close in astronomical terms. If a technologically advanced civilization lived on one of these planets, contact with them might be possible within our lifetimes. Of course, unless they've figured out some way to transmit a message faster than the speed of light, it would still take at least 80 years before we get any kind of response. There are two other recent discoveries that offer hope of alien contact. In 2016, Hermano Bora published a paper titled Searching for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Signals in Astronomical Spectra. The paper speculated that a sufficiently advanced alien civilization would be carrying out spectroscopic surveys of outer space, so in order to signal their existence to other planets, their best chance would be to send a highly unusual modulated signal that would be picked up accidentally by other planets. The paper predicts that nanosecond pulses of light would be used to transmit the signal. By analysing data from over 2 million stars, they discovered that 234 stars were transmitting these seemingly intelligent nanosecond bursts of spectral modulation. Of course, they don't outright say that these signals come from aliens, but suggest that they match a predicted model of what an alien signal would look like. As always, much more research is needed. The paper also suggests ways in which we could send our own signal using lasers which could be picked up by planets as far as 1,000 light years away. The question is whether we want to advertise our existence to everybody in a 1,000 light year radius. For the next discovery, I need to talk briefly about the Kardashev scale. In 1964, Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev came up with a theory that a civilization's advancement could be judged by how much energy they are able to harness. For example, a civilization at stage 1 on the Kardashev scale would be technologically advanced enough to harness 100% of the energy that their home planet can produce. Us human beings with our inefficient use of fossil fuels are currently at stage 0, and it is thought it would take us at least another 100 years before we become a type 1 civilization. A type 2 civilization would get their energy directly from their star, possibly by constructing a Dyson Sphere, a hypothetical structure built around a star to harness its power at the source. Although entirely speculative, part of the search for intelligent extraterrestrial life has involved looking for evidence of such megastructures in space, and NASA's Kelper telescope may well have found one. The star named KIC 8462852 is about one and a half thousand light years from Earth and has garnered a lot of attention recently. As with the TRAPPIST-1 system, astronomers were studying the dimming of light from the star in order to determine if any planets were passing in front of it. Instead, data suggested that there was some kind of gigantic structure orbiting the star. The findings were so unusual that at first they just assumed it was some kind of technical error but repeated tests have given the same results. There is indeed some kind of strange structure around that star. Many natural causes were considered, such as a massive cluster of comets or a giant dust cloud around the star, but none of these sufficiently explained what we are seeing. Jason Wright, an astronomer at Penn State University, was quoted as saying, Aliens should be the very last hypothesis you consider, but this looked like something you would expect an alien civilization to build. The next step is to get a radio telescope pointed at the star and listen for any signs of intelligent life being broadcast. So there's three possible leads in the search for alien life. Perhaps soon we'll actually make contact with aliens for the first time. Obviously not including the grey aliens at Roswell, or the reptilian shapeshifters that control our governments, or the plasmatoid orbs that are invading our homes, or the Nords, or the telepathic communications with the cold ass system, or the two-dimensional stick people. But apart from that, this will be our first time contacting aliens. So do you think we should be trying to make contact with these worlds? 
Is broadcasting our location to the entire universe a good idea? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more stuff about aliens, check out this playlist. Otherwise, why not check out this random video? Until next time, keep watching the skies.